guys, Tim here. Gonna do a follow-up review on these. I believe it's Perex, but correct me if I'm wrong. It's you know it's P-E-R-I-X-X, -X, so pronounce how you like. It's the AX2000 gaming headset. These are designed in Germany, manufactured in China. I've been using them for about a week now, and I just wanted to go over some of the good points and bad points that I've come up with on them. The first thing, I'll go over the cons. I would like to see uh, a little more padding or have it be a little firmer. I'd also like to see, um, not many manufacturers do this, but some do, where this one has these pivoting ear cups, but it doesn't pivot, they don't pivot, they only pivot up, they don't pivot down, which is the way I need them to go. I'd like to see a hinge or something here so that people with large heads, if you have to take them all the way out, it puts a lot of strain on this piece right here, which not this brand, but I've had two other brands, uh, two major brands, both break right there because I had it flexed all the way out. So this isn't just a, a Purex thing. This is a, most manufacturers don't have this, but I'd love to see a hinge here or some kind of give so that people with larger heads, when you, cause I have to go all the way out to about there. I have a, you know, I wear a size eight baseball cap. Now they are comfortable for me, uh, even though they have to have a pretty good flex on them. I warm for about three hours every day. Uh, doing teleconferencing and some other random gaming and I like them but it would be nice to see a hinge there they are uh, closed eared so you know for better or for worse you're not gonna get a lot of bass out of these is what I found so far um, in my personal opinion the ear cup foam is too soft and what that causes is my ears actually do touch uh, the inside of the driver because as you can see because I have a large head I can press the foam all the way down because it's tight up against my head that said I don't find them uncomfortable now I don't have ears you know everybody has a different head every headset is going to be different you know to each person I don't have ears that like stick out a lot so my ears are pretty close to my head so my ears when they're in these ear cups sit flat and don't rub so for me they're comfortable but I would like to see either a deeper cup or better you know more foam I'd also like to see um, you know for a gaming headset I don't believe gaming headsets should have you know leather or fake leather or synthetic materials uh, they should all have cloth uh, and preferably replaceable cloth because you want it to breathe. Um, if you're going to have it on for five hours, you don't want your head to get real cold. And the last thing, this doesn't really bother me, um, but the adjustable ear cups, it'd be nice to see, you know, if you're going to go this style, rather than having the, the whole headset swivel, would be to have more range of motion, because as you can see, they don't go down at all, right? They go up, they go back and forth, but they don't go down. And uh, that's kind of where I need them to go. Those are the cons. Not, to be really honest with you, none are deal breakers for me. Like I said, this is a very comfortable headset for me. I would still buy them again before I get to the pros. But the things I do really, really like, well, we'll go over the kind of like versus really, really like. The kind of like are, um, the clarity on these is awesome. So the audio quality, there's not a lot of low end. Um, you know, if you're if you're listening to that, you know, wub 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 dubstep stuff, uh, not the headset for you. If you're gaming and using these for like live comms or you know anything where you want clarity of sound. So for me, like on Battlefield, much more important to have clarity of sound than it is to have a lot of bass, because I want to be able to try to figure out you know where that gunfire is coming from and I don't want it to be muffled or distorted um, 
I listen to a lot of music with these, turn it up pretty high, no distortion, even at pretty high levels. But you know, same, there's still not a lot of bass. The next thing I like, uh, this is one I really like, is I like the detachable, my hands are a little slippery, the detachable uh, mic. I very rarely need the mic. I usually don't game with people I know. So I like to be able to take it off and just keep it out of the way. And this mic boom is actually, you know, it's, it's got a, a the, the way that you can pivot it in and out. So it doesn't, you know, you can flex it away from you, but it's always going to be, you know, some degree in because of how it sits in the, the holder. But what I found is that it's very flexible so you can put it where you need it and it stays there right so I tend to go you know very far out tip it away a little and then tilt it in and it stays there and it sounds good you know the quality uh, for the people that I'm playing with uh, everybody commented that it was pretty good so you know for a, for a boom mic can't ask more than that uh, the last thing that I really like is the braided cable for this cost of a uh, headset this braided cable is really nice now you know I know a lot and gold plating too so you know the a lot of people are braiding now um, but this is it's nice and flexible it's not super stiff but it's stiff enough that it works really well um, you know, you have your headphone and your audio jacks, and then I also like the fact that everything's detachable. So, you know, if you break this somehow, I don't know how you would actually, um, you can replace it, right? Or if you want to get, you know, something that's longer, you know, just make sure it's compatible with the headphones and, and away you go. Uh, one thing to watch is that these do not have an answer device on, built in on them. Not a big deal uh, in my mind, but if you're going to use these for like video conferencing, you just want to be aware that there's no mute button directly on your headset, which I do do a lot of, uh, you know, link meetings. And that mute button is really important to me when I'm doing calls, uh, just because it saves you, you know, it's got a little light on it, the, the, the version I use. So that I know if I'm talking to somebody and I mute my call that I'm actually muted and that's important for me but I'm not going to use these for that I have specific UC headset for that um, I tend to roll two headsetted so these are great um, you guys have seen I've done two other unboxing recently uh, two much more expensive sets of, of headsets no boom mics so they you know they weren't gaming headsets they were just regular headsets and I actually like, so first off, I tried both other headsets. You can go back and look. I'm not going to name them in this video. I tried both other headsets with various setups from my iPhone to a radio to my computer to a high-end uh, digital soundboard that I have. Both pairs hissed. I have no idea why. It's the first time that I can ever remember that I got one pair of headphones that had, you know, a, a high, like maybe even higher than 50K uh, hiss on them. And, and there was nothing I could do to get rid of it. And I am pretty audio savvy. I'm much more audio, audio savvy than probably appears in these videos because, well, frankly, I don't want to spend 10 days editing the audio for these things. Um, I do have, you know, a pretty good setup for audio for other things I do. And even on, like I said, even on my soundboard, both of those pairs of headsets hissed. And I have no idea why. And that's, that's a soundboard that I can adjust the resistance to the headset on. So I can do 4 ohm, I can do 8 ohm at the jack. And it hissed on both lines. It hissed powered, it hissed unpowered. I have no idea. So. Where I'm going with this and my, my completely off review rant about other things I've bought recently is that these out of the box sound great, right? Like I said, lack of low end, but it's a gaming headset. 
you know, I wouldn't wear these around just to listen to music, right? But for gaming, for audio in games, these things are awesome. The clarity is really, really good. And I want to, I really want to stress that because for this price of headset, these are probably, especially in the treble, like above, eh, you know, maybe a thousand hertz. The audio clarity is exceptional, especially for this price point. Now, there's other headsets out there around this price point. Um, I would just say, you know, look at the features. I love the detachable boom on these. I love the detachable cord. I love that it's braided. Uh, the headset for me, like I said, it does look uncomfortable. I will, my first reaction when I got the box was, geez, I don't know if these things are gonna be comfortable on my head. Uh, all I can say is, you know, they're worth a try. They are more comfortable than they look. You know, like I said, you know, you're, depending on your ears, I, I do think if you have ears that are, that stick out quite a bit, they might be uncomfortable because you might actually make contact uh, back in here where there's a little ridge. But for me, and I, like I said, guys, I have a big head, these are comfortable. So, and if you have, you know, a smaller head, you know, you do have some play. Um, so, they're a good little headset. Uh, I'm actually going to keep these over the two, you know, $100 plus headsets that I just bought. Or headphones, I guess. I don't know what I can say other than that. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. You know, these get about between a three and a four rating on Amazon. Uh, I gave them a four. Uh, you can guys go check out my Amazon review if you want to. I'll link it down in this video. But, you know, not everybody can afford two or three hundred dollar, you know, headphones. And to be honest with you, those are just headphones. Like very rarely are they headsets. So I was really impressed with these, you know, I'm just want to let you guys know there is stuff out there sub $40 that's worth your time. Go check it out on Amazon and we'll see you next time.